really drawn to doing a medical mission trip because at the core of what therapy is, it's helping people. I wanted to learn about other cultures, other um, ways that people treat with physical therapy and also be able to share what I know. Personally, I mean, I just, I really like to help people. Once I became a PT, that was one of the first things I've always wanted to do, was to do a medical mission trip where I could be more hands-on. And I just really wanted to come and help and kind of learn from the people here and see what they do that I don't already do. I've been assisting in the speech therapy clinic. They're more than happy to let us jump in. Um, they have lots of questions for us, even the students like what we do in the United States, so about therapy we use. Sometimes back at home, patients tell me when the session's over, which kind of is what I'm used to, and here all the patients keep saying, what's next, what's next? We had a patient with aphasia who was working on some automatic speech, so I was able to help her with that verbally and through writing um, using my Google Translate and my basic Spanish. And they're so nice, they're so welcoming, everyone's, you know, welcome to Ecuador, welcome to Quito, giving us recommendations of things to do, food to try, so everyone's been so welcoming. It's just been a great overall impression. The homestay experience has been such a wonderful piece to this trip. Um, we've stayed with a woman and her family who make you feel like they're part of you know, their family in their home. One of the first things Marcella did was take us up to the monument that overlooked the whole city and he explained, you know, here's this side and the other side. Um, so I thought it was cool to really see it from above, looking down. And staying with an Ecuadorian family um, also helps you understand the customs and the culture more. So when you come to the clinic to work, you feel like you already have that connection with the therapist's culture as well. And it just helps create a really good relationship between the Ecuadorian therapist and the American therapists. I've gotten some really great ideas from the therapists here. Mostly creative art projects, um, but that I can use with my patients on fine motor skills and really gaining more interest in participation in therapy. And like yeah. seeing how they are so creative with the things that they have here, it's kind of giving me a little kick to be like, me too. Critically think a little bit more rather than just like doing what you did the day before. You know, this is just, it's a life-changing experience being able to um, get to know other people. You know, it's, it's almost, I mean, we're, the trip is almost over and I'm really sad to leave. You know, it's tough to, um, up. Um, I've definitely learned, learned a lot. I have some materials to bring back with me that I plan on using. I just can't plug this enough. This has been eye-opening and, um, you know, it's just something I think that everybody should do. It definitely opens up your, your mind to a lot of different people and just, yeah, being tolerant and helpful. And uh, this trip was just, it was awesome.